this one, excuse me just a moment, I'll just uh, do sort of a closer up thing here if I can manage it. Um, looking at this one, you've got to get um, one of the open D tunings. I'm not going to go in big on technical terms here, folks. I'm just going to go straight, breathe straight through it basically and just uh, tell you what fingers go on which strings, if that's okay. All you need to do to get this open D tuning I've got is the easy way I remember it is 3D that you've got 3D strings on your guitar. So you take your, your D string, tune your bottom E down to uh, a D, and to tune your top E string down to a D. So you've got 3D strings. Uh, a and B stay the same, very easy indeed, and all you need to remember is 4-4, four, four. so the 4th fret and the 4th string is what your G string should sound like, you just tune your G string down a notch and you have 3D. Okay, uh, what we're doing with this one, the refrain. The refrain part of this, which I'll show you first, we're not going to do it in a linear style, I'll show you my favourite bit first, which is the Don't It Always Seem To Go bit. What you need to do, start off with a string three on three and string five on five. And then it's like a walking down sequence where you go. All I've done there is move my finger from five, string five to string five fret four. And then slide it down two frets. And then this string goes from fret five down to fret four fret two, fret, sorry, string four fret two that one and the, the thing I like doing with this is just like a little pull off so it goes and on to the next so it, it's it's one of those nice chord sequences that you can repeat over and over again if you if you if you, if you like it you can just, just stay on this one. Um, another point to bear in mind here is um, the way I'm strumming here people ask me about this sort of strumming pattern so let's just take a look, look at this. I'm uh, using the um, the heel of the palm of my right hand quite a bit. This is the way I've always played these sort of acoustic strumming songs to get some sort of a acoustic attack into it. best thing really is if you like this sort of styling to practice this sort of thing. If you're, if you're only playing the chords open, uh, I'll, you know, it, you're missing out on a lot of um, different emphasis on the notes. So I, it's second nature to me now just to slap me um, the, 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 the right palm onto the strings but uh, my advice to you is uh, practice with that if it doesn't come sort of naturally at first. Okay so that's the refrain bit taken care of and it ends on the open, just the open strings. Alright, uh, all we're doing is try and get some sort of slide effect for this chord and it's uh, just a bar and all six strings on fret five and the clever trick here is on and off with these two strings fingers here on string three on six and string four five on sorry string three on six string five on seven and all you do is move the bar up two frets using the right hand for this to dampen the strings a bit and then down to all I'm doing for this multi is the, uh, 
is you've got string three on one and string five on two. Uh, on and off. And I'm yeah, doing this damping technique again. And using the, the other finger here on string five, fret three. So the first pass. The second pass without getting too technical. Is I'm doing the same thing, but I'm adding the little finger on string three, fret three, and then taking it off again. And then taking the other finger off string five. to, the, to uh, carry it through. All right, so... And then you're back to the refrain section, which I've already shown you. All right, so it's really not the most difficult song in the world, but it, it, it's, it's really effective and it, uh, it, it, you know, it's sort of, if you can get the, the damping techniques right and all the hammering on techniques all right, again, practice is the key to this folks, just keep And it's, uh, if you're playing in front of an audience, as I did recently, it sounds pretty effective if you can get this sort of damping technique and keep this, the song moving, moving along. All right, so that's uh, that, that's the, that one for you. By the way, if you like this one, I've done a, a tutorial on Carrie by Johnny Mitchell, which you can find elsewhere on my page. Okay, happy strumming, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.